This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, April 20th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and in the Finis monitor today, Cammie Craig, one of the best water polo players you'll ever see. And later in the show, we'll announce our Performer of the Week. Here's a hint. It's a name you may not know, but uh, you're going to hear a lot more of it leading up to 2012. First, let's get to Cammie Craig. She's a starter for the number one ranked USC Trojans women's water polo team, and she joins us right now in the Finis monitor from Los Angeles. Cammie, how you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Here you guys beat up on the Crosstown Rival Bruins this past weekend. It's always fun to play our Crosstown Rivals, you know, get in the pool with the Bruins and rough it up and have a fun time playing against them. So it so happened to be our, uh, our senior day as well and my final game uh, here at USC. Now you guys have been ranked number one pretty much most of this season. And we all know the goal in college championships is to go out on top. What, uh, what is the one roadblock that might stand in your way as you guys see it? Um, I think we're just we're staying positive. I'm not saying anything as a roadblock. But uh, we play Stanford this weekend, which will be a good game to kind of see where we're at, gain some confidence, um, see what we need to work on going into MPSF and NC2As. But... That should be a really good game for us to gain some confidence and kind of set some goals and see where we're going for the season. I see that you're a red shirt senior, is that correct? Yes. So why do you have to lose a year? Um, I took a year off to train full-time for the Olympics, uh, which I ended up competing in 2008. And uh, I didn't really take a break from water polo. I just played some more water polo. But uh, took that season off, and now I'm in my final season here. I'll bet that was a hoot. A college girl playing in the Olympics, getting a silver medal. It was a pretty special experience and uh, fun to come back and share it with uh, my fellow Trojans. Is there anyone on your team that is not from California? Um, yeah, we have uh, two Hungarians and a Canadian. <laughs> well, they're pretty good at water polo, too. Yes, definitely. Okay. I saw that you are... Uh, you play the two meter. All right, for everyone out there who's more of a swimming fan, not so much a water polo uh, connoisseur, so to speak, what is, um, explain how the positions work. Um, I usually explain it to people who are not familiar with water polo as I am the shack of water polo. I sit in front of the cage, my back is to the cage, and I look out into my perimeter and um, Basically, the perimeter works the ball into me, and my job is to either draw an ejection, which gives us 25 seconds of man-up play, or to just score the goals. So mainly, I'm a very offensive player, and um, I'm looking to get those goals. So people are just hacking away at you all game long? Oh, definitely, yeah. I get a nice big girl who likes to just hang on my back, hang all over my head, and push me around. It's probably the most physical position in the game which would make you one of the strongest players on the team, I imagine. You have to be to stay alive in that position. <laughs> well, what do you do training outside of the pool to, to get that strong? I mean, do you lift a lot of weights? Do you do a lot of dry land stuff? Uh, give, us, uh, give us some insight here. Yeah, we do uh, three, three days a week uh, dry land with our uh, weight trainer and uh, just lots of core stability, you know, we focus on our legs, focus on our shoulders. With water polo you, and swimming, you have to be well-rounded. You have to be strong in every area. Um, it's not just one, you know, your legs or just your arms. You have to be well-rounded. And, uh, yeah, that we focus on doing dry land to bring our strength into the water as well. All right, take me inside the, the gym here. You guys are working out. Somebody walks in. They see you doing what exercise that just blows their mind? Um, I don't... We do a lot of just jumping around and... Oh, uh, come on, Cammy. There's got to be something you do that is pretty impressive in the weight room. Just core, core stability, you know, holding our bodies up in a awkward positions that you would never think you could hold your body up, you know, side planks, um, forward planks, you know, just that you know you're going to have incredible core stability to hold yourself up in that position for that long. All right, I'll let you get away this one time, Cammy, because you're new to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the national championships are next month in May, correct? 
Yes. And uh, this is your senior year. And what's uh, what's next? Train for 2012? Uh, definitely, that's the plan. But uh, taking it one thing at a time and just trying to get through uh, this weekend with Stanford, MPSF, and then NC2As. And I'll worry about 2012 when that comes. <laughs> well, Cammy, good luck with the rest of the year, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, that's Cammy Craig joining us from USC. And we'll be right back with our performance of the week. Northwestern University. More than 150 years of academic excellence and a tradition of student success. Our Performance of the Week award goes to a 17-year-old that we're guessing you're going to hear a lot more of here on the international scene. Yannick Agno just lit up the French Nationals. He swam a 146.35 in the 200 free. That's the fastest time of the year so far. Equally as impressive in our minds, he broke 49 in the 100 free. So congratulations to Yannick. You are our Performer of the Week. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to... Keep your head down at the finish.